Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a really exciting one. For those who don't know, I am engaged, so I am getting married. That sounds so adult to say. I'm getting married. Married. Like, I feel like I'm, like, my mind is like I'm 19. I just can't believe I'm 29. That's just crazy. So yes, I am getting married, so I am going to be making my proposal boxes. Having a really small bridal shower, I just feel like it's a little bit more intimate. I don't really want like a bunch of people up there. I have so many close friends and family that I would love to make bridesmaids, but I just feel like I personally don't like how it looks when there's like 10 bridesmaids, 10 groomsmen. I just don't like that. Um, so I like something very small and intimate. So I'm only doing my two sisters, my one cousin and my niece as a junior bridesmaids. And um, yes, yeah, so today I'm going to be making their proposal boxes. I am so excited. I'm also including my niece in a proposal box because I just feel like she would just love it when they come over and I'm going to have a dinner for everyone and the box is out. I just know like she would love it, especially feeling like she's included. You know, she's only 11, but she just loves hanging out with the girls and she loves makeup and she just loves like being one of the girls one of the older girls so she is just gonna be so excited that I included her in this dinner with her box I'm so excited for everyone to open it my one cousin she lives in New York because I'm originally from New York so she still lives in New York um so I'm gonna be mailing her box to her I wish that I would be able to like make a dinner for her but it's just not possible with her being in New York so I'm gonna mail hers and then I'm gonna have like a little dinner for my sister So let me know if you guys want a part two, maybe a vlog. I'll vlog the day of I Pretty much got everything I need for the boxes in the mail already Um, I ordered a bunch of stuff. So that's why I kind of been putting it off a little, you know We already planned my bachelorette party. We're going to vegas So I feel like i'm behind on these boxes because we already started planning all that so I need to like you know i need to like get with it and start the boxes so i figured i would vlog it because i just feel like you guys would love it and i feel like it's a very designer not like too crazy because i'm not rich but i did include some designer goodies in it so i feel like it's a very luxurious proposal box i also feel like i am able to do that since i don't have a lot of people in it so yeah if you guys want to making boxes with me then just keep watching also you guys remember when i just cleaned my room like two days ago what is all that what is it and it's never stopping let's get started so i bought these boxes off amazon and i rather get these on amazon than like etsy you know the personalization ones just because they're super expensive and i feel like i'd rather spend that extra money on stuff that's going to go inside of it rather than just the box so I got these on Amazon. It says, will you be my maid of honor? And it's a really nice box. It's not like that paper one. It's like heavy duty box. So I will link it down below if anyone's looking. And then the inside says, I can't tie the knot without you. So let's go ahead and fill it with some goodies. I got this little crinkle paper at Target. I ordered it online. Um, if I knew it was gonna be like purplish, I wouldn't have ordered it, but that's okay. Starting with this jewelry box. I got this off Etsy. Um, I don't really recommend this seller You can probably find a better seller only because all of these Came like broken and I messaged her asking if that's how it's supposed to be She said no that she would send me replacements, but I mean i'm doing this in two days So it's not gonna be here in time. So I can't get a replacement. So it's whatever So this is what it looks like. This is my sister and i'm gonna put it right there and I got these champagnes at Publix and then I ordered this little sticker from Etsy it says I can't say I do without you and I just put it on top of the original cover and I'm just gonna place it right there and it fit like so perfectly which is awesome I was nervous this was gonna take up a lot of space but it fits perfect. Then I got each girl a gift from Chanel. I got them the mirrors like this they're really super cute and that's what i mean about wanting to spend the extra money on like the goodies rather than you know a box that says their name so looks like this and then this is the mirror isn't it cute 
Um, I figured it's something that they would always have on them and something that they would pull out of their purse and be like, oh wow, like this is from Ashley's proposal box. You know what I mean? I really didn't get anything that said maid of honor or bridesmaid on it because I don't know. I wanted something that they could use. So, and then also comes with free samples, but I'm not going to put the samples in there because it's going to look weird. So I was thinking, um, I was thinking about possibly leaving this on top of it when they come over for dinner because I'm having them come over for dinner. My cousin, who's also my best friend, um, I can't really do that. So I think I'm going to put hers in the box. So, um, well, this is my sister's. I'm trying to think if I should put it in here or leave it in the Chanel bag and then like put it like this. No, that doesn't look cute. Okay, so we're gonna put it in the box. So I got them that Chanel mirror. I got them YSL Black Opium Travel Perfume. You can put that right there. I got them a Dior lip oil. And then I got them these candles. I'm gonna go ahead and open the plastic up. So I originally wanted these in white, but I couldn't find them in white. I got these at Dollar Tree, but you could also get them at, on Amazon. So I'm going to put this little candle right here. Put the Chanel there. Then I got them each a rose gold scrunchie from Amazon. It says to have and to hold your hair back. Super cute. It also came with a white one for me. This is the whole bag. It comes with so many of it. Again, I will have it linked down below for you guys. So I'm going to put that right there. And then I got these at Dollar Tree. They're like white little roses. But what I really like about them is they light up. How cute is that? So I'm going to keep it off like till right before they come so they don't die. I hope it will stay lit when I ship mine, ship my cousins to New York. Um, but yeah, and then, and then I also got them this diamond pen, also from Dollar Tree. I think I'm going to put that underneath the black opium perfume right there. And then... Yeah, this is my proposal box. And then it closes like this. It's also a magnet. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I did. But it's a magnet down here, so it will close nicely. And then you can tie it really nicely. And then when they open it, how freaking cute is that going to be? So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and make the other ones. I also forgot that the boxes come with this little card. It says I couldn't tie the knot without you, so I'm also going to include that right at the top right there. Maybe right here. No, maybe right there. Yeah, I don't like it right there. Maybe I should just not include it. Since it does say it at the top up here, maybe I shouldn't include it because it looks really pretty by itself. And then when I put that on top, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, by the time you guys see this, I'm already going to have given it to them, but... I don't know, I guess we'll keep it in there for right now. And I will show you guys the flower girl one, the junior bridesmaid, because the junior bridesmaid, I didn't get all these like luxury stuff because she's younger. And I'll show you what I made for my mom also for, I'm going to ask her to walk me down the aisle. All right, now I'm gonna make my junior bridesmaid proposal box. So she's 10, so I obviously didn't get all those luxury things, but I did get her some really cute stuff. So I'm first gonna start off with the crinkle paper. I did get her a matching jewelry box like all of us because she loves jewelry. So I'm gonna put that right there. I got her some press on nails she's always been wanting them so I put some right there I got her this Victoria's Secret keychain wallet so we can put that there got her some EOS chapstick so we'll put that right there also got her a diamond 
um, pen. So I'm gonna put that right there. I got her this necklace. She's an Aries. So it says Aries and then it has that really cute like diamonds in it. I ended up getting her this body spray from Bath and Body Works, but I also I also have this perfume that I got her from Five Below. Um, so I don't know if I should include both or just one. Um, let's see, let's move the ring really quick. And that looks super cute. Now, should I include this perfume in the box? But I'm thinking not, just because, I don't know. I don't know where it's going to fit. What do you guys think? I did buy this specifically for her, though, so I want to give it to her. Okay, next we're going to do the Flower Girl box. I'm a little disappointed because the company that I bought the other boxes from didn't have a Flower Girl one. So this is another one from Amazon, but it's a cardboard box. It's not like that sturdy one, but... It's okay. I wanted it to be all the same, but I guess not. So, she's four, so I definitely didn't get her the same stuff because, you know, she's four. We're going to start off with some crinkle paper. So, yeah, I'm having everyone come over on Saturday for a dinner. I got like penne al vodka that I'm picking up from our Italian restaurant near us and I'm gonna make like garlic bread and you know it'll be fun all right so first I got her this bracelet off Etsy it says will you be my flower girl and it has pearls and then it has the letter s her name is Scarlett she's also my goddaughter so we're gonna put that right there I decided I'm gonna give her the Bath and Body Works little spray because she likes girly things like that. I'm also gonna give her a hair tie that will go there. And then the box also came with some other goodies. So it came with this necklace. So I'm gonna include this necklace. Probably right here actually. No, I don't like it there. We'll see where it's gonna go. But this little bag says Flower Girl. I think I'm going to actually put it probably at the bottom first. Then the bracelet will go right here. It also came with this sleeping mask that said Flower Girl. So I think we'll put it at the top. I don't know. I probably should have figured out how I wanted to do it before I started filming. <laughs> so I think we're just going to put it right there maybe. And then the bracelets. So it came with these little scrunchies, but also she could wear them on her wrist. So I guess we'll put that. And then maybe we'll do it that way. Oh yeah, that's better. And then we'll put the necklace right there. And then we'll put the other scrunchie right here. So I just got her little stuff. I didn't want to get her any, any of that other stuff. Because it's like, obviously it's expensive. And you know, she's only four. So... I think that looks super, super cute. And I'm gonna close the box like this. Oh, really quick, I also bought one of these for myself because I figured it would be really great on my bachelorette. We are going to Vegas, yeah, buddy. So, I'll show it to you guys on. I'll show you guys what I got my mom. I'm gonna whisper though because I don't want her to hear me. I got her this tote bag. So she's working Saturday. So I'm gonna take her to a dinner give her all her goodies so I got her this little tote bag it says mother of the bride also comes with a smaller one which will be great since I am getting married in New York so she'll probably need a bag to travel with and inside here is a little puzzle I think that's how I'm gonna start it I'm gonna say oh look I got this puzzle let's make it and that's how we'll start it. I'll show you guys a clip of it put together because I put it together already. Then I got her this, this traveling cup because she uses these a lot. And it says Mother of the Bride. Also from Amazon. I will link it down below. And then I didn't get it in the mail yet. It should be here today or tomorrow. But I don't know if you guys saw my unboxing of my designer dupes. That Chanel necklace that I bought, I bought her one as well. So I'm going to include that in here. And then the last thing is this handkerchief that I got on Amazon, on uh, Etsy. And it says uh, mommy bear and baby bear because that's what we call each other. And I'll show you guys a video of it opened right here. 
And that's what she's gonna be getting. Okay, that is all my proposal boxes. So these three are the main ones in my bridal party. Two maid of honors, one bridesmaid. So I did go a little extra, you know, with the, you know, designer stuff. But I figured I am having a smaller bridal party. I'm not having a huge one. So I figured I am able to splurge a little on them. Especially because they're just my sisters and my cousins. So I figured I can splurge. And it is a small bridal party. But, um yeah this is all of them i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i had so much fun filming it let me know what you guys want to see next on the wedding series and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye